my own little brother from Nigeria, he was voted the LOSC or Lille player of the year. Well, congratulations, brother. But hey, I am not surprised. I knew it. I told you. <laughs> I told you that this guy is going to be the best in your team. But it could also be in France. Why not? You know, if you have to give the prize to one number nine that really was very consistent, you can argue that Osimhen was just there on top with everybody else. But when you play in a league with Neymar, Mbappe, and you know, big flashy names, they will just go for them. But you know, if you look it in another angle, you know, from another dimension, you will see that uh, this guy can just, uh, you know, go there and poke them, you know. But hey, man, this guy is going places. Aussie man is going places. Well deserves a uh, win at Lille, of course. But hey, where do you see Aussie man next season? Because for me, I don't see him at Lille anymore. He did very good and he has nothing to envy with uh, other striker around the world. He's, you know, one of those... Uh, youngsters those that those uh, uh rising stars right there so i see him somewhere the question is where okay and um for me if i have to choose for him i don't want him to go to a team like real madrid or barcelona or i i, I think it's gonna be a little bit too much for him right now now he needs to play games he need to be in the team that he will be the number one and not sitting on a bench. I'm a Chelsea fan. Everybody knows about it. I would like one day to have him at Chelsea, but he got the same profile as my other brother, Tammy Abraham. So right now they will be competing for one place, to be honest. And since Tammy Abraham is from the academy, you know, you like it or not, he's going to have a little bit of advantage over uh, Osimhen. If I was him, if uh, a team like, um, I don't know, Bo uh, Dortmund or Leipzig or another team in Germany uh, comes calling, I will go there and try to play uh, maybe one more season or a couple seasons over there before I make a big jump because this brother here is going for big money in few years from now because he will be just on top there. And looking also at big clubs in Europe, they pretty much are set when it comes to the striking options. You know, Real Madrid still have Jovic, even though Jovic, ah, everybody knows that this this season been really very complicated for him. Barcelona are in touch with uh, Lotaro Martinez. And uh, yeah, if you look at maybe Man City because Aguero is getting older and uh, G uh, G uh, Jesus is not the same profile as Osimhen. So yeah, Man City could be one of the options because they don't have a they don't have that dimension of a play. I don't know if Guardiola like this kind of strikers, but yeah, it's going to be a good move. Uh, Liverpool, I also heard that uh, Klopp is a big fan of uh, Osimhen, but the way they play at Liverpool, huh? you know, a lone striker like him, I'm not too sure, but hey, big coaches can adapt the system to fit a particular player so yeah it's it's still possible well arsenal i don't want to see him at arsenal at all because you know they are our direct competition in london and uh spurs just don't sign for spurs brother don't that is not a team <laughs> anyways um what else nothing really to say about Osimhen. 
all the best for my brother this video was just to say congratulations to him for winning the player of the year at lille thank you so much for watching